Hi there, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles. I'm here at ICMA 2022 and I'm at the SWM stand. Now, if you're not familiar with SWM, they are an Italian brand. I think they started in the 70s. Uh, like so many, they, they fell by the wayside in the 80s and they've recently been resurrected, I think in 2014, uh, with some funding from China in the form of the Shine Ray organization. So they are still making the bikes in Italy. I think it's the old factory where they used to make Husqvarna's. I'm sure someone will correct me if that's wrong. And um, they've got quite a few bikes on here. It's quite a busy stand, as you can see behind me. Uh, so what I'm going to try and do is just go around and show you a few of the bikes. They do have a few trail enduro bikes in the back right-hand corner, which seem to be a little bit quieter. So I can give you a close-up look at those. I'm sure some people might recognize the engines or some of the components. I have tried downloading their press kit, but it seems somewhat tricky to do. Uh, so yeah, I'll put some links in the description. But otherwise, here you go. This is the SWM stand at ICMA 2022. So starting at this edge, they have this 1200 cruiser, which actually looks fairly well put together. You know, there's lots of, lots of chrome on it, lots of some nicely matte finished uh, components on the top. It's a nice sparkle black paint job. And yeah, if I show you around that engine, um, yeah, sometimes you see some questionable welding or some of the finishes don't really look up to scratch, but that actually looks pretty good. Um, I mean, cruisers aren't really my thing. Um, so yeah, it's uh, perhaps not one that's going to end up in my garage. But having said that, it's, it's certainly fairly tidy um, as I look down uh, across this bike. And it is a 1200, you know, there's a few bikes that I've seen here uh, that have come out of Asia, which are this sort of size, but they've got little 500s in them, which I think if you're going to do a cruiser, you might as well do it properly. The next bike I want to show you is this one that's called a six which is a 500, which is slightly confusing, uh, but that looks like an air-cooled, what do you think, single or twin? It's got those twin exhausts coming out the front, uh, but I'm pretty sure that's a single. Uh, but again, it's sort of scrambler styling, looks quite nice. I think the, the finish on the top is maybe uh, quite basic, but you know what? If it's a simple bike just for getting around, the clocks are very clear. It doesn't have lots of electronics, and I'm guessing that it's probably priced accordingly. It's so walking down now towards the back of the stand. I think this is a couple of uh, 125s, that's the SM125R Supermotard. And then another one here. Um, I think these are very similar to the trail bikes, which I'll, I'll get to up at the back. And on my way there, they have a, a few of these customs. So actually there's a trail bike, competition bike in the corner, uh, a Custom 6 uh, in here, and then a 500X, which uh, does have quite a big, is that a big single lump? Um, in that frame in sort of a retro style scrambler adventure bike. Uh, up at the back here uh, they have their, their trail enduro bikes so the one I can see there ahead of me is the 500R uh, which I guess is a big 500 single and yeah it's got KYB suspension on it, um, it's got LED lights I'm guessing, certainly LED indicators. Having a look around the handlebars it's got Brembo brakes, very minimalist dash but then I guess that's all you really need does have a compression lever uh, for the start just up there and then coming back down to look across the rest of the bike um, I mean, it does look quite quite simple uh, but maybe that's enough next one to look at is this uh, RS 300R uh, that we have there so again it's got a Brembo brake on the front I'm not sure what the engine is that's actually in here other than it's a 300 but I'm sure someone will tell me if they recognize it um, I will look up SWM in a bit more detail after the, after the show. Uh, but yeah, again, you know, just quite a tidy little trail bike. Um, again, also has that cold start compression lever. I, must admit, I wasn't that familiar with these until one turned up on my CCM Spitfire, which uses that 600cc Husqvarna uh, single. But yeah, it's um, quite an interesting looking thing if you're in the market for a trail bike. Uh, they do have one more, which is getting all the attention, which is this 125. This gentleman is just getting off at the moment. So uh, yeah, again, sort of similar look and feel, just maybe a slightly more budget on the inside being the 125. Um, what we then have here is the Supermoto version of the 500. They call this one an SM500R. Sorry about it, it's just getting very busy in here now. So uh, I'll uh, try and show you as much of the bikes as I can. Um, another Supermoto uh, in here, I guess that's the derivation from the 125. Yep, SM125R. So in the last few that I have to see, I think, are these ones on the front, which they called a, a Hoku 125. There's one here, the same bike here with its LED indicators on, and this just looks like a 125 naked. I mean, it's certainly got the Italian styling. It's got the trickle or flag uh, along the side there. 
Go up and over the top, it looks like a very small bike with a very massive screen by comparison, as you can see in there. And you know what, just a few nice little features, like all the controls are backlit. Um, I wonder why more manufacturers don't do that. I suppose you don't really look down uh, when you're selecting them, but it is a nice touch if it's something they could add, uh, especially to a bike at this price point. We have here is another version of the Hoku, and this one is a 400cc, which you know what, for a bike like this as a city bike, is probably not too bad. I mean, yeah, it's, uh, it's fairly basic, but the finish on it looks, look, looks good enough. And if I come just over the top there, it does have a pillion seat. Not how much sure how fun it is to ride uh, with a pillion, but with a 400 around town, uh, I'm sure it would be ideal. So that is, I think, uh, the last bike here. So that's it, that's my quick walk around the SWM stand here at Eichmer 2022. It is kind of busy in there, so I'm sorry I probably didn't spend as long uh, or as looking as closely as some of the bikes as some people would have liked. Anyway, I hope that's been interesting and useful. If it has, uh, please check out my other content from Eichmer. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.